A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fulvin. The long reign of the Adrestian oh, time. Empire finally met its end. I get it. The Imperial capital, the city of Envar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the Holy Ooh. Kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea, still weak from her imprisonment, stepped down from her position. The oh Church yeah, we Saros didn't even began to take the needed steps to see her at all. She just kind of gets Prince rescued, Dimitri and that's it. Ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the King of the Holy no Kingdom. No cutscene Fargus, for that. Which now included former eh. alliance and imperial territories. Texts from the time claim that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression became the new Archbishop of the Church of Saros. I don't want to become the Archbishop. <sighs> oh look, his spear's got blue thingy on it. Dimitri with children. I wonder what I picked. Oh, what a surprise. No one is surprised. Tomorrow is yet another early morning. What? Then again, it's I just how I live. Little. You cannot sleep, can you? <laughs> Neither can I, of course. I. I want you to know I am sorry for making you do so much when your battle wounds aren't even completely healed yet. Hey, you're the one who got stabbed, not me. Do not worry about me. My shoulder has healed nicely. I still have some numbness in Has it now. But it should not Good to hear. Too much. Yes, Dimitri. It is a lovely night, is it not? I don't know. Many All I see is tower. Since I was kept awake by hopes for the future, rather than by nightmares of the past. Nightmares? I have had the same nightmare for nine long years. A nightmare oh. in which I am constantly tormented by those who have died. They ask me why I have not avenged them, why I got to live, yet they had to die. No matter how many corpses I piled up for them, in the end, their voices only grew louder. Voices loathing me, calling out to me. Their inescapable death cries ringing in my ears, clinging to my soul. Even now, I can always hear them. I am certain I will be hearing them until the day I die. But I will not cover my ears. I will go on living, and their voices will serve as a warning. A as warning? A king, and as a wretch who claimed countless lives. I will build a kingdom where the people can live in peace. Wow. I am sure Very she noble. Call such talk foolish. But I wish to change this world in my she. own way. Oh, that will go. Well, right. your grace, things will oh. be busy from now on. Oh, don't call first me that. Of business is tomorrow's coronation. Uh. Once a professor and student, now an archbishop and a king. How very far we have come. Seteth, I have a job for you. <laughs> come and take my place. For it is but titles that, that have true. changed. To me, you will always yes. be the one who guided me so kindly. My ally through all. My beloved. Yes. My beloved. Oh, <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. Listen, there is something I wish to give you before the coronation. Oh, give fuck. Me your hand. He's gonna give me a ring. Oh, this looks oddly familiar. <laughs> I mean, ooh. Please, I beg of you, say something. Nice. <laughs> if you do not wish to accept it, please just tell me. Uh. So, I will face the truth and walk away. No, 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 my boy. Am I giving- I am giving What's him this? my ring. That's my ring. Whoops. Yeah, I'll go with that. I ain't saying that, though. <laughs> oh, look, he's speechless. Ha! Yes, Fool. I see. Right. In that case, let us exchange them, shall we? Yes, let us do that. Oh wow! I hold them within my own. I see how small and fragile they are. Hey! These hands that have saved me countless times. 
Thank you, my beloved. Your kind, warm hands. May they cling to my own forevermore. I am the strongest sword person in all of swords. How dare you call me fragile? Ah, oh, now I get to see who did everything. Oh, angry Demi- Oh. Oh, Dimitri. <laughs> Seems that when Dimitri got a little angry, he also got a little strong. Man, I really like how little Rhea impacted this story. That's great. We just kind of did our own thing. Yep, just the dodge tank and the archer of much distance. Not a surprise. <laughs> I don't care about you guys, I just want to hear about my people! She had one battle. <laughs> Marianne had one battle, and I remember that, because she got a crit. <laughs> it was in her own paralogue. Yikes. Ah, oh, Gilbert returned to Ferdiad and resumed his duty as a knight, faithfully serving King Dimitri for many years. When he finally retired, it is said that he spent the rest of his life days coach it so did he not go home so gilbert didn't go home to god damn it did i not get enough Ugh. did no one pair with each other what the fuck <laughs> smargrave gordier sylvain devoted his life to improving relations with the people of the serang region with the ration alone he succeeded in helping to create a new way of life for nobles in which relics and crests were no longer viewed as necessary. Wow, very cool. Though he went down in history as an extraordinary leader, it nevertheless became customary to refer to cheaters as sons of Gordia. Ha! Huh. Skirt chasers. I see. Ooh! After the war, Ash was formally knighted and appointed the new head of House Gaspard. Which had no successes. The young and inspired and inexperienced lord faced a great deal of difficulty in governing. Though he was famously tenacious and never lost heart, it was perhaps only due to the constant counsel of his wife Mercedes that he managed to overcome all obstacles. When not busy governing their territory, the couple lifted one another's spirits by baking delicious sweets for each other. The tradition was so heartwarming that it became popular for husband and wives in that region to do the same for generations. Okay. <laughs> Sweets. Oh. Sometime after the war, Dudu and Annette exchanged wedding vows in a modest ceremony and then settled down to a life in Ferdiad. For them, life after marriage stayed much the same as before. Dudu continued his duty to King Dimitri. And Annette took up a teaching position in, at Ferdiad School of Sorcery. Though each gave the other space for the work that was important to them, they made sure to spend much of their free time together, and to bond over the cooking and housework. Dimitri cleaned up after Annette whenever she blew up the kitchen. After the war, Felix inherited the title of Duke Faldarius from his late father, Rodrigue. He married Ingrid, the daughter of Count Galatea, and the couple's Bar spared no expense in restoring both territories, paying special attention to Galatea's desperate need for food and funds. Some years later, there was an attack on the castle town, and the duke lost the use of his sword arm from an injury. Sustained protecting his wife. It's said that he never regretted it, as he was only fulfilling a purpose that he made to his beloved wife in a long time ago. That's kind of awkward. I mean, wait, I used Ingrid more than Felix? Oh my goodness. It's because she was the dodge tank, damn it. Getting married to your brother's betrothed because he done diddly died. Ugh. Oh, look, it's me. Paired with the end of the war, the joyous marriage of Cholith. God. The newly appointed Archbishop, ugh. And Dimitri, the newly crowned King of Fargus, gave the people of Fodolin much to celebrate. The two were devoted to improving life for the people and to seeking greater wisdom in order to reform the government and the church from the inside out. 
As leaders of church and state, respectively, at times they engaged in heated debate. I... I debated? I don't speak. Uh, anyway. Even still, when enjoying a long horse ride or a quiet evening, they were not as the world saw them, but rather two adoring spouses desperately in love. They remained as such for the rest of their days. Ah, Beautiful. I'm so glad that I married Dimitri and Edelgard respectively in their routes. And not Claude, because I know what Claude does when you marry him. He fucking leaves. <laughs> and that is the end of the video game. Also, Rhea, yeah, stepped down and she's just gone. No more Rhea, which I am perfectly okay with. And there we have it. The only three decent routes in the game completed. <clears throat> The time difference is certainly long, probably because I forgot, or actually, I didn't even know about the supports. Since this was my first Fire Emblem game, I had no idea that you had to open the menu to check supports. So I didn't actually see any Black Eagle supports with each other on the first route. Yes, the final boss was just Edelgard and Byleth. And then my church route, I also didn't know because it was done immediately after that one. And I didn't notice. And everybody died. I have now completed Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm actually really glad that I saved that to last and that I decided to record it. Because that was fun. And I enjoyed it. Maybe. Just maybe. I might do a maddening playthrough. God, that sounds like a terrible idea and I already hate myself for bringing it up.